All right, we got one last rookie wide receiver to break down here Thank for God. you. It's late. That's what happens when you're married to the game. Find us on Twitter at the FF Dynasty if you feel so inclined. We got our last dude to talk about, Mr. Michael Gallup. With a name like Gallup, I had to say my expectations were pretty high going into this evaluation. And I think overall I came out liking the guy. Maybe not. How could you not? Loving him, but I mean, it's really, really nice to watch some of the things he can do. And I think he's a guy that I'm definitely down to, to target late second, maybe even falls to the third. I don't know. He I didn't, don't think so. He didn't have a terrible combine. He had he ran a four five one, which he got that down to four four six at his pro day. Yeah, was it eh. laser timed? No, nah, I mean every, pretty much every pro day Faster. stop is, is like point zero five seconds quicker. So right. it's right on poor. Poor. Right on par. Um only ten bench press reps, but thirty six inch vert, hundred twenty two inch broad, six point nine five sub seven second three cone drill. Ooh. So Sub seven checks the checks the check marks there, but he's just, supposedly like everything you read on Roto World. He's like the analytical darling, and but I mean his spark score is only in the twenty seventh percentile, so I don't know if I don't know if you have to have a good spark score to be an analytical darling. If you don't, maybe I got a shot still at maybe at being a darling, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But damn it! <laughs> well, well, it's not what my he had to says. go to junior college first. Juco. Went to the same uh, Juco as Byron Pringle, which a little deeper in the process here, but a guy that I'm pretty interested in from Kansas State. Yeah. Was Butler Community College. So had to get his gra- – I think it was an SAT issue for, for right. Gallup. That's the first sentence on the NFL draft profile wow. is SAT scores are the only thing keeping this Ooh. guy from a bigger school. Well, had to, had to go figure it out. Came out. Still bald. I think he's like a – he's one of – Seven kids, one of five adopted kids or something. Oh, man. Yeah, big family. Parents did a lot of adopting. And so he, you know. Good for them. Good for them. (laughs) Well, he'll be 22 in March. It's not Um, the worst. He was number three in the NCAA in receptions with 100 uh, this year. It's a big number. Uh, Fifth in receiving yards uh, with 14, 13. Uh, 2006, he was number nine in touchdown receptions. Um. So those are just kind of the numbers and and kind of records he had coming in the last two years from his junior college transfer. Uh, I don't think this guy really is a number one, but I think he's going to be a really solid piece to an offense. Uh, I do, again, we'll go back to a little bit of quarterback play here. I do think that he suffered from a little bit of erratic quarterback play. The quarterback had like some good overall numbers, but when you watch the tape, there's a lot of plays that I think were left on the field uh, for Gallup, and sometimes you could see the frustration in him of being like with body language and whatnot of saying like, "Damn, man, could you just like the hitch was like the only route that right. consistently was on the money and was there every time." A lot of hitches, slants, and then goes. But every once in a while, you see don't love the vertical game from him. Every once in a while, you see a short out. I'm with you there, but pretty much not too much of an extensive route tree. Although I do think. The route running of the routes that he did run, sorry for that, was pretty good. It's pretty quick. He part of the best part of his game is he plays fast. He plays quick. Maybe the deep deep speed isn't quite there, but the short area quickness is is really entertaining to watch. I, I would say that the short to intermediate game is strong to quite strong with with Gallup. I would agree. I would agree. And this dude played all over the field. He was a versatile piece for them including going into the slot. I think this guy has some of the best hands as far as fighting goes. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, he he's he's pretty solid on his release moves coming off the line of scrimmage, um, whether it's a slant or a fade. He's got this jump step where, man, there's this one play, I think it was in the – it was on the Boise State field, but it was against Idaho, not right. Boise State in the bowl game. Maybe 2016, 16, yeah. Yep. He had this – he had this release move where he just did like this this hop step and he took he planted both feet in one direction and the cornerback drew into him and then he cut the other way and it was just and that was on a fade in the end zone for the for the score and I had to rewatch that play several times cuz like how did he is this like a two hop step yeah planted both feet and he just just from his release move he was in his stance and then hopped 
and then cut. And that dude was on skates. Well, maybe Calvin Ridley should learn that movie. Be, might be better at the broad jump. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. He basically broad jumped <laughs> to the right and then cut to the left. Maybe, it was maybe kind of taking like a little screen. Yeah. Sucking him in and, and, right. and moving out like that. Um, but this dude, it's just he's pretty good against the press coverage, man. Yeah. Like he just... I think the hand fighting that, w- that he does is 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 pretty solid. Yeah, and then like we can take it to the Alabama game, right? Sure. He he had a I think he had a pretty solid game against that. You and I maybe disagree. Five for eighty one. The numbers looks decent. Yeah. I don't think he had a bad game. But they, I mean, they were means. pressing him the whole time, yeah. and that didn't seem to give him too much trouble. He was beating them. One of the best plays of the game. He had like a, I don't know if it was a wax on, wax off, or it was wax off, wax on. But that that defender tried to. Get him two different times with a hand check, and he was meeting him right away and, right. and wiping that that hand away and to, to gain that inside leverage that he, sure. he was trying to get on the play, and then he made the nice catch. It was a solid gain, one of the best plays of the game. He could have had even more yards in that game, but he dropped a big one downfield. Safety was coming over, would have made a big hit, and he just, he just dropped it. I don't know. The camera angle wasn't good. The ball was thrown inside, and the camera's outside. We didn't get a replay couldn't really see exactly what was going on but i mean for the most part he was lining up all over the field he showed you some yak ability there he was he made a couple dudes miss yeah. this is still on the alabama game i think i think the the run after the catch is probably my favorite trait from him i think he um is extremely tough to bring down um and it, again not as much opportunity as i would like to see yeah. from the yak thing because i don't think the balls were exactly where they needed to be sometimes for him to get going on the run after the catch but it is one of my favorite parts of his game for sure yeah i mean he's he's slippery he's a slippery dude after the catch he gains steam he picks up momentum he sets up his blockers well it's it's very instinctive you can you can tell he's good at it right he's getting that when he's getting that ability when he's getting that opportunity right no i mean i think he's got a bunch of like i said the short intermediate games solid he can win in the screen uh with his physical nature and good field vision um, got a physical style of play again, doesn't mind catching in traffic, doesn't seem to be bothered by contact or the threat of contact. Uh, we'll cross the middle and win all positive things, especially I think he's kind of a more of a possession type receiver. I think right. he'd be a great two um, on a team. Um, I think, you know, can certainly win working the boundary with quick feet and knowing how to work a defender, knows how to use hands to separate at the top of the route, kind of see the curls and the outs. He's a karate there. kid out there. Yeah. Um, and then kind of when all that hand checking text takes place, uh, trying to prevent the wide receiver from making his move, he consistently wipes off defenders hands and jab, uh, jabs him inside on those shoulder pads to create more space at the top of his break, which is fantastic, which again leads me to kind of, I like the, the, the two kind of possession role, um, for this guy. Cause he just knows how to operate in, in shorter, tighter spaces and gain separation for himself um, knows how to keep defenders guessing with what route he's running doesn't just uh, run a route one way he has multiple ways of kind of showing the defenders of you know how he's going to do something he might have shown him a route kind of doing the post th- one way uh, the first time and then the next time it kind of looks a little different uh, one example is he kind of I, I don't remember I didn't note the game here but he kind of worked up field like he was running a post um, and 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 leaned kind of hard inside to hold the safety who was kind of occupying kind of the middle of the field there holds him with like a, a little lean and a pivot inside and then rips off that other foot and, and breaks it outside and, and has a, a beautiful catch right, wide over open the top. over the top of the flat the corner touchdown. and the, uh, no, this was, this is just a first down. Okay. But he, he held the safety in check and the flat, he was got held the safety where he needed him to be. And uh, was able to get over top of the flat corner with a, with a little out basically instead of the post there, uh, which I which I thought was a really good good play by him. Um, knows how to get the defenders to turn their hips and exploit them. He'll show a defender one thing, take his first step outside, and then uh, like he's going straight up the field, and then we'll get the uh, defender to make his moves and turn his hips and then jump back inside uh, for an easy completion and, and can do the same thing kind of vice versa working uh inside and then going outside so just got a whole bunch of different uh moves and and hand fighting things to to gain separation can move the chains for you i think he can be a a guy who can score touchdowns for your team um and then i think he's shows an ability to work a zone 
saw examples uh, many times where he switched up his route a little bit um, to show the defenders one thing and get them to hold their zone and then kind of kept it moving to that free space on the field for an easy completion. All things, he's just a smart, he's just got a whole bunch of good traits. Yeah. I don't think he's like really like an elite player, but I think he does a whole bunch of things really well. All those things really, add up. Really decent. Not He's not great great right. uh, at, at any one thing, I don't think, but I think he's consistent across the board he knows how to win he knows how to do his job right um so yeah he I, seems smart he seems like he's he's got little nuanced changes and subtleties to kind of what he's doing out there to keep you guessing which can help make up for lack of supreme athletic ability but i mean i think this dude's got great start and stop ability which mm-hmm. is that you know i think he can change direction as, as good as he needs to be able to do that with and then you combine that with the hand checking and the the, the the route nuances then you're gonna that leads to catches man right. he's trying to get some catches right. here um i think he's pretty fast off the line of scrimmage although he, he's knocked for being pigeon toed yeah so his, his front when foot he, is he comes up to the line he's bow-legged. a little cocked right so if you if you pay attention you you can kind of see him having to adjust that front foot a little bit off when he's get. right he's got to kind of yeah, take a little step almost. This is a half a step, basically. Right. Which I didn't even really notice till I read the knock about being pigeon toed, and then I, I was like, oh, I guess I kind of see that. But like, I mean, I, I don't know if that matters. It seemed like he was getting off Seems the line to just work fine. And, and maybe at the next level, it maybe it hinders him a little bit more. But I feel like that's probably a pretty correctable thing. Probably, um, a couple knocks on him. Like maybe sometimes he should lay out for the ball. Yeah, and I think sometimes maybe he doesn't want to. Right. Like that's fair. Just because he's that's fair. Another thing is he seems to jump unnecessarily at balls, man. Like that's I really really noticed that after learning what the toe drag was, watching uh, Anthony Miller, and then going to watching Gallup, and it's like he's going up in the air even when he doesn't need to, and you see him take a couple big hits because of that, and and then that leaves him susceptible to being pushed out of bounds on the sideline. So I think that's a correctable thing, but it was it was evident once you realize it that he does that a lot. But, I yeah. mean, overall, I think this dude possesses the skills to succeed at the next level, and I'm, I'm down to put him on my team because I think he's going to fall a little bit. All right, get us out of here. Let's, let's go home. Let's do it. <laughs> Hit us up on Twitter, at the FF Dynasty. We have our own individual handles. You can find Casey at IMC Myers. You can find me at Jay Wayne's World. If you didn't notice, Big Co kind of dipped out. He was here for the intro, and then uh, he had he had to, to hit a dinner to go to, and so he had dipped. to go. Started a little late, but if you listen to the show, you know he's not the biggest rookie wide receiver lover. So this is a good one for him to skip out on, I guess. But uh, if you enjoyed anything about the show, please go on iTunes, give us a five star review. You just got to click the five stars. Don't even have to write anything. Definitely hit subscribe. Find us on iTunes, Google Play, Podbean, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio. Please and thank you. Go on YouTube, hit subscribe. We're cutting up these shows and, and, and giving you a more granular search for your pleasure. So go check that out. Hit subscribe. Please and thank you again. Man, it's late. I'm rambling on, and uh, we just need to get out of here. But that's what happens when you're married to the game. Oh, you're dropping that terribleness two times in a podcast. Mm-hmm.